Hello again, this is Brett Barron coming at you with a little Bible comparison today. Uh, wanted to compare two of my favorite Bibles. Um, as you know, if you've watched some of my other videos and my, my Barron's Bible rankings, which I'll put a link in the description below, uh, so you can check those out if you haven't. I'm looking for, I really like Bibles that are both portable and readable. And uh, some different Bible publishers do, uh, do different things to try to accomplish that. And uh, it's, it's kind of hard to find both of those. Those two attributes tend to be mutually exclusive. So uh, that's the trick, you know, how do you get it to be real easy to read and also uh, portable at the same time? So here's two solutions, uh, one by R.L. Allen. This is the R.L. Allen ESV-1. And this is their uh, way of trying to accomplish that. And then this is the uh, Crossway Omega Thinline Reference Edition. So the differences here is what, what Alan did is they went for the, they tried to stick with the, with the overall uh, dimensions, you know, keeping the overall dimensions small, both in footprint and also with the thickness. They did, they left this Bible with a lot of great features like introductions in the chapters and also illustrations and maps at the back. And then you've got the famous Allen line paper in the back. So that does add to the thickness of it. But they went with a uh, like a nine point font. This is actually a crossway text, which has a nine point font. But it is on 36 GSM uh, Bible paper. So it's a thicker, nicer paper. And uh, given that, the, the, the compromise was on the, was on the font. But they were able to still kind of keep a, a short, you know, squatty, Bible that's just over a, you know, it's like, what is it, um, inch and a half thick, right? So what Crossway has done, on the other hand, is they've gone with a, a bigger footprint. So you can see there, it's much bigger. So this one being nine inches tall by six inches wide by one and a half inches thick, and then it's, it's ten, 10 inches from page to page, from this edge all the way to this, this edge when it's open, okay? Whereas what, uh, what uh, Crossway did in this one is they went with a 10 point font and they line matched the text. So because of the 10 point font, there's no introductions, there's not a ton of uh, uh, features in the back. They've just got the basic eight maps that you find in the ESVs. So they were going for the thinness, right? They were trying to keep it really thin. and. With a with a large print at a 10 point font, and they accomplished that really well. So the the compromise is just the the, the size of it. So this one, in comparison, is uh, nine and three quarters tall by six and a half wide, but it's only exactly an inch thick. And then opened up, the footprint is is larger there at 11 and an eighth. So just depends on kind of what you want. If you if you'd rather have a like a thinner, a thinner Bible, which is easier to, to stack in like a backpack, then you would want to go with the Omega. But if you want one that's thicker, um, but shorter, you know, smaller, easier to hold in one hand, easier to preach and teach with with one hand like this, it's going to be a bit easier to carry around, I think, just because it's, it's just overall smaller, then you're going to want to go with this one. So just depending on what you're looking for, both of these are a great option for a portable Bible that's easy to read. Um, just, you know, if you, if you maybe have a harder time reading the smaller font, you'd want to go with this one. This one's printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. And this one here is a, is a crossway text, but it's done on a, on a 36 GSM paper. So it's a, a heavier, thicker paper. Um, and it's bound by Ludlow. Alan bound this one by Ludlow. So this is a, uh, nice calfskin innerliner with a with a real soft supple goat skin they call it a mid-grain goat skin cover really really nice uh, soft soft color this is a uh, cover it's the best it gets um, this is a coarser grain um, I think they call this a Highland goat skin cover uh, I'm just guessing that because it was done by Youngblood some of the differences there you can see the ribbons too. Alan always does a great job with their ribbons. They use, I think these are Beresford ribbons and they, they do a lot of attention to detail by you know cutting them at an angle there, choosing a really nice color, unique color to it. Um, just a high end, real, real quality ribbon. And uh, Crossway on the other hand, went with just four. So you get four instead of three, but they're thinner, 
just sort of basic ribbons and you can see they just sort of hack them off at the end and there's always these little kind of hairy things you know at the end of there so just some differences but two great uh two of my favorite portable bibles um, and i like the the fact that they put the cross references in the in the corner there instead of in the center like you're going to find on this one Th these are uh center column cross references and then this one is red letter so if you want to if you want to find a, a good if you want if you if you like red letter or that's a, like a, that's something that's a, a criteria for you then you're going to want to go with the the uh, rl allen rl allen does make a what they call a esv new classic readers edition that is almost this exact size it's a little bit taller and wider and floppier and it does it does have the introductions and i think they have a red letter edition for you so it's it's close to this uh, but it's just a little bit harder to handle and uh, just a bit different so and it is center it is a center column instead of the end column cross reference on on the allen too uh, but this is a this is a great compromise this is sort of a refined edition of that of that new classic readers i think it's kind of gives you the best of both worlds some of the attention to uh, detail you can you're going to find a difference there in the uh, in the binding and that is in little, little things like this um, see the, the corners how they folded that corner real nicely and then they did a, a bigger yap on this bible but that's a, that's the kind of attention to detail you're going to find with an allen bible and the, the ghost skin is much softer and nicer on this on this allen than it is on the crossway you can and the, even the even the inside liner allen binding by ludlow um, i think they do a better job with this art gilt kind of perimeter line there um, real clean spine they don't put way too much stuff on here. I think Crossway tends to, to put way too much on here. See, they, they like to fill it all the way up with ESV, English Standard Version, Holy Bible. They're starting, to, they're starting to pull back a little bit. They used to even include the letters ESV in one of these spaces. So I think they're just trying too hard to fill that whole thing up. And then this is like a, like a, a coarser ghost, goat skin as well. So um, I do like the fact that they didn't put any kind of writing on the front of this Bible. I think that makes it look a lot cleaner like you like they did here. This Holy Bible, I, I wish they would have just taken that off. Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So those are the two Bibles. You got the uh, Omega by Crossway, Thin Line, and then the ESV one by, by Allen. Two great portable Bibles. Either one is gonna be a, a great choice. If uh, budget is a big concern, then you're going to want to go with the Omega because it's you can pick these up for 150, 130 on eBay, um, and whereas these are 220 bucks. Um, also, a, a key difference is going to be the uh, this one is, has got the yap here, but it doesn't have the stitched perimeter, which is just a different style. It's not not worse or not better, just a different style. So it just depends on if you like that or not. Here's a uh, comparison of the concordance on both of these Bibles. On uh, the um, the out the Omega Bible, it's got a bit of a smaller concordance in the Omega Thin Line. It's got uh, 2,400 uh, word entries and 10,000 scripture references, whereas the ESV is going to give you 3,000 word entries and more than 14,000 scripture references. And they've got a little note here about uh, using the concordance with the cross-reference system. So uh, more, a little bit more of an extensive concordance in the in the Allen ESV one than you're going to find in the uh, Omega Thin Line uh, edition.